Hey guys, Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In the previous video, I showed you how to one technique for calculating the standard cell potential of a redox reaction. In this video, I'll show you the second technique. And that second technique is by using this equation that the E cell or the standard cell potential is equal to the E cap, the voltage of the cathode minus the voltage of the anode. So let's talk about what cathode anode are. are. Cathode is where the reduction reaction occurs. And then anode is where the oxidation reaction occurs. And then you can remember this with the mnemonic, a red cat sits on anox. So you can see reduction, cathode, and then oxidation, anode. So just imagine a red cat sitting on anox. So that means we can change this to E of D reduction reaction minus the E, or the voltage, of the oxidation reaction. So that means we need to figure out what's oxidized and what's reduced uh, to be able to use this equation. So let's take a look at some examples. Calculate the standard cell potential of this reaction. There's a couple ways you could determine what's oxidized and what's reduced. We'll start with the most standard way, which is by using oxidation number. Now, oxidation number, there's a lot of rules for oxidation numbers. If you're kind of rusty on that, definitely check out my video on oxidation number where I go over that detail. If in this video, I'll just be breezing through it and talking about it uh, very quickly. So let's assign oxidation numbers to each of these elements to determine what's oxidized and reduced. Zinc is zero because it's a lone element. Cu2 plus is going to be positive two because it has a positive two charge. Zn is positive two and then Cu is zero. So based on this, we can say that uh, uh, we can say that the oxidized element is going to be Zn and then the reduced element is going to be copper. Because you can see that the Zn went from zero, its oxidation number went from zero to positive two, and the copper went from positive two to zero. So then now let's take a look at the the potentials for uh, zinc and copper. So for zinc, uh, you can find a half reaction for zinc here. And you can see that zinc's uh, potential is point or negative point seven six. So let's write that over here, negative point seven six. And then the copper, uh, specifically we're looking for the copper that has a copper 2 plus in it. So that'll be this reaction. And its potential is point, or cell potential is 0 0.34. Then we use the equation E of the reduction reaction minus the E of the oxidation reaction. So the reduction was the copper, so that'll be 0 0.34 minus the E of the oxidation reaction, negative 0 0.76. And that'll give us a voltage of 1.10 volts. Okay, for the next one, uh, we'll start again with the oxidation numbers. Mn, actually H is positive 1 because it's a lone element with a charge positive 1. O is negative 2, that's just one of the rules, so that would be negative 8. So the Mn will have to be positive 7 to make the overall charge negative 1. Uh, so Fe would just be positive 2 because of the charge. Mn will be positive 2, Fe will be positive 3, and then H would be positive 1, and O is negative 2 because those are the rules for H and O. Then let's determine what's oxidized and reduced. So oxidized element is the one that has an increase in oxidation number. And that would be um, that would be the, the iron because it went from positive two to positive three. And then the reduced element would be the Mn because it went from positive seven to positive two. Now let's take a look at the reduction or the potentials for the reduction potentials for both the Fe and the Mn. So the Fe, we're looking for the one that has Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus in it, and that's going to be this reaction right here. So its potential is 0 0.77 volts. And the next one, we're looking for the reaction that has MnO4 and Mn2 plus in it, and it's this one right here, and that's 1.51 uh, volts. Now we take the reduction minus the oxidation. So reduction was 1.51 minus the oxidation of 0 0.77. Let's plug that into our calculator, 1.51 minus 0 0.77, uh, which will give us a voltage of 0.74 volts. So that's that's how you would calculate the cell potential using this technique of the cathode minus the anode. So just remember that the cathode is the part where the redu reduction reaction occurs and anode is where oxidation occurs. So you can just think of this as the reduction potential minus the oxidation potential. And then you can use oxidation number to determine what's oxidized and reduced. If you want to learn 
how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.